I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now waiting, better believe in your mind Cause it's everything You can mold, shape, find almost anything Hey everybody, this is Praxis a little over 110 Fahrenheit here in the greenhouse. That's about 45C. And I thought, wow, what a what a great time, what a great environment to do a flashlight review with you guys. I'm going to be doing a flashlight review in this video. I've been doing uh, reviews for the Through Night Company for a long time. Uh, they don't pay me. Uh, they do send me free flashlights to review. Uh, but the reason that I do them is because... <laughs> All right, we're not doing that. I was editing the video later, and it just looks like there's a guy there that really wants to get out of that environment as quickly as possible. Let's take some time with this. Let's do the video out here where it's at least a little bit more comfortable. This is the Thrunite TN12 Pro flashlight. Uh, Overall, I think this is really great. Uh, I'm always pretty pleased with Thrunite products, uh, and this is no real exception. There are a couple things that are a little concerns for me uh, that I want to share with you guys, but overall, it's a great flashlight. They make their products really uh, well built. Uh, you know, they can get banged around, and uh, I always like th Thrunite products. So let's talk about it. It's a basic flashlight. It's got two on switches on this. It also comes with this kind of uh, carrying sheath, which I, I'm gonna just toss to the ground now so it's not in my hands. It's got two on switches. One is on the back. And that one is just a simple on-off switch, uh, kind of like a plunger switch, uh, and that locks it to the the brightest mode. And it's it's a really bright flashlight. I'm not going to get into the foot candles and uh, lumens and all that kind of stuff because I think it generally it's not that important. And quite often, you don't really want the full force of a flashlight. You might just want a little bit of light, you know. But doing that, it's sometimes overpowering, and it's way more than you need. Our eyes are pretty good at seeing things at night if there's any kind of light, and you don't want to ruin your night vision oftentimes. So I, I tend to like flashlights that just draw out a little bit of light. And you can do that with the second on-off switch, which is up here. So there's the one in the back and there's one up here. The second on-off switch uh, can go between a couple of different settings. If I hold it, it's got a few different illumination settings that it can go through. And that's only accessible through this button. And this is actually a point of a little bit of confusion. When I first got this, I first started testing it out, I knew it could do different uh, brightness modes, but if you, use, if you turn it on with the back button, and then you try to go through the modes with the, uh, the front button, it doesn't work. You could, it only uh, goes through modes if you've turned it on with the front button, which I found was a little, maybe needlessly confusing, uh, but you know, it's, a, it's not a big deal. It's just like learn your flashlight. This is on off for all the way, and this one uh, gets you into the modes. One issue that I do have with this flashlight is I feel it gets, uh, it gets kind of hot. You, you, you've seen how much I've used it in this video, and uh, the tip of it is already pretty hot. I mean, I'm not going to burn myself with it or anything like that, but I'm just going to turn it on right now and. I got my fingers right up by the front here, and this is right up where the uh, uh, you know the front on/off button is. With it at its full uh, intensity, I'm holding it here, and already this is uncomfortably hot already. And it's been what is that? It's less than 30 seconds that it's already starting to get hot. I feel like they could really uh, improve the way that it dissipates heat at the front here. Now that said, how often do you really use a flashlight at full intensity? A lot of times when I'm using a flashlight, I'm just doing it. At one of these lower uh, power settings, you know, I just want a little bit of light to look into a bag when I'm camping. Putting it on at full intensity is going to kill your night vision anyway. Uh, but that said, if you have a full power setting, I think that it's better if, well, I think, I think it behooves the ma manufacturer to make it so it's able to deal with the amount of heat that it itself generates when it's on at its brightest. And after 30 seconds, getting uncomfortable to touch the front of this thing where, you know, uh, the switch is up here, I think that's... I think that's kind of a problem. For me, it's not much of a problem because I never use flashlights at their full intensity anyway. Um, but you know, I think that's something. Some there's some room for improvement here where they could have created, you know, a better way of dissipating the heat off of the front. In terms of charging it up, it's got a USB-C type port, um, which I mean that's fine. You know, <laughs> it's one of the standard uh, types of ports. And the the battery that it uses, it has a pretty long life on it. Uh, I was not a big fan of these types of batteries uh, several years ago because I, I felt they were kind of uncommon, but now they're getting to the point where they're very common. These are those 18650 batteries. I, I used to refer to them as the vaping battery because this was uh, what you could 
uh, used for people who do vaping. It's not anything I've ever done, but th that was kind of like when I tried to buy batteries, uh, the only place you could find them was like at vape shops and things like that. Uh, but now these are used very widely for war, all sorts of things, uh, you know, between power, uh, power supplies to uh, flashlights and things like that. The 18650 battery is, it's fairly ubiquitous, so I don't have any problems with it anymore because it's pretty easy to find them. And they've got a pretty long life. This one has a 12.24 watt hour. Uh, runtime, um, and you just charge it up right inside of the, uh, the flashlight here. So, through night, I always have been very favorable about their company. Uh, that said, I have made some negative reviews in the past, uh, so I'm not afraid to say when I think think something you know doesn't work really well. And like, like I mentioned, there were a couple issues I have with this flashlight. But if you're looking for a company that makes a really reliable flashlight, I've never had a through night product fail on me before. And this is yet another you know good addition to their family of products. The through night T. N12 Pro, though I, I would say I think they could do a better job naming their flashlights. They're always like kind of a tongue twisting mouthful. I don't I don't know that I could ever really uh, memorize any of these. TN12 Pro. I, I gotta read it every single time. <laughs> That's it. If you're looking for a flashlight, uh, you know, very reliable platform. Not the cheapest thing in the world. Uh, you know you do pay a premium for it, but they are very well made. I've never had a problem with mine dying for any reason. I think it's a decent product if you're looking for flashlights. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching. This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.